drink beer, it's good for you. Hello and welcome to the video. In this video I'll be sharing a great deal of information about the forthcoming wrap temperature and glycol controller which is due for release in 2026. I have long said that there is nothing more important than fermentation control when it comes to producing the best quality beers and this product offers a very smart way of achieving this. Certainly this is one of the products coming in 2026 that I am most looking forward to due to the large benefits it offers. So let's get into it with Key so you can hear all of the details straight from the man himself. Now guys, we are making some pretty major changes to the way the whole glycol system and cooling fermenters works. What we're doing is we're bringing out kind of like a box like this. It looks a little bit like a temperature control box, but this one is actually a glycol controller. So we use the same type of casing, um, and this one has a stainless steel frame and a, basically a pinch valve on the front, front here. So when you adjust the temperature like this, so let's say I go up like this here, you can see the hose moving and we've got like a pinch valve here which essentially squeezes down on the hose and shuts the flow down. So uh, several reasons why I've gone in this direction. So what you'll have in this type of setup is one pressurized line which is constantly pressurized with glycol in it and then the pinch valve will gradually open and close. It means that what we can do is use things like PID control for cooling. Now look, PID for a lot of brewery stuff I'd say is not necessary for heating in a lot of small breweries and that type of stuff, in my opinion. However, when it comes to cooling in particular, the thermal mass of the liquid is quite substantial and it can lead to things like overshoot if you have you know, freezing cold liquid go into a fermenter, you just want to adjust by fractions of a degree. So I think that's where PID is really important and these types of pinch valves can gradually open and close. So that's kind of really handy. The other thing is for fermenters, especially when people are using the larger fermenters, getting a decent amount of heat in there can sometimes be necessary if you're brewing the garage or a colder climate, for instance. And really the only way to really do that properly is using an AC um, you know, power source for heating. So what we've got is an AC outlet on this wrapped glycol control. You can see on the bottom here, we've got like a uh, basically normal standard AC power outlet. So you can plug in something, for instance, like our warming wizard into this two inch TC port. So you basically undo this, put in the uh, warming wizard in there, and this will work on any of the fermenters up to the you know, hundreds of litre size fermenters that we have and then control both the heating and the cooling from the device. Now, as you know, the wrap control box, they've got a Bluetooth antenna in there as well, so I'm pick up on Bluetooth signals. So that means we're gonna bring out other glycol controllers which will transmit their Bluetooth temperature via low energy Bluetooth beacons. So the beauty about that is once you bond that with the controller, the controller knows what temperature the glycol is. So you can have multiple tanks lined up and also the device can then pick up on the temperature of the glycol tank. And for some reason, let's say the glycol temperature is too high. For instance, I've just plugged in a, I'm just doing a crash chill or plugged in a you know, fermenter or something like that. And the glycol bath might climb up too high in temperature. That means the temperature control box knows what temperature the glycol tank is and says, no, nope, I'm gonna keep this uh, valve closed until the glycol chiller catches up, the temperature comes back down, and then I can start running glycol through the tank again. So things like that, that interconnectivity with more of these other wrap products talking to each other is really kind of important. Um, and I just think this is a really, really great setup having you know AC power right on the tank. The other benefit of having a controller right on the tank like this is you can check, get a wrapped uh, pill, and when you uh, really want to get the most power out of that pill device, you want to put it in the Bluetooth mode, use that as the temperature probe inside the fermenter. So, I mean, this has a temperature probe, of course, on the bottom, which you can put in a thermo well, but by using the wrap pill, it sits in there, getting the core reading inside the fermenter, but also reads that gravity, and then you get it nicely on the, on the, on the center of the display here, so you can see exactly where you are in the fermentation process. So kind of this means on any fermenter, I've got like a heads up display of what's going on inside the tank and then use this device to kind of work to run the profiles and do things like pressure control and you know, have really in-depth automation on the entire fermentation process. So look, it's a totally new way to look about your heating cooling control, but I think this type of setup and, and the way that this works is way better than what the other previous setup was where we would just cycle pumps on and off inside the glycol chiller itself. So this is a, the direction we're going with all this stuff. See ya. 
So as you just heard from Key, this is a fully integrated temperature control system that fully benefits from being part of the ramp system, allowing for additional accessories to be connected, like for example the ramp pill for a full view of what is happening during your fermentation, as well as being able to have more than one temperature reading for greater precision. I very much look forward to testing this in 2026 and reporting my findings on this channel. This video is part of a series of videos that offers previews of forthcoming products from Kegland. In case you missed them, I've already released previews of the Ramp Digital Regulator Spunding Valve and the Ramp Laser Level Sensor, and you can stay tuned for more of these in early 2026. I do hope that you found this video useful, informative and interesting. If so, why not consider liking and subscribing? For further support you can join the channel's Facebook group, and if you would like to support the channel then check out the channel's merchandise store, as all profits go back into the channel. Until next time, happy brewing!